Tennessee see you in Florida. Chad Dallas, he'll go to work on the leadoff hitter, Jacob Young. And the first pitch is up and in ball. And he gets his second straight strikeout. 3-2 pitch. And guess what? Spence is on base. George had a grand slam. Drove in five runs. That's to the shortstop. Got to go quickly, get the out at second, and they can't turn it. Fly ball, center field. Shallow. And the shortstop's going to take care of it. Carry on. Makes the catch, and that's the inning. Hey everyone, Wheels here. I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button because over 80% of you watching right now are not subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Ball a couple inches outside, see if you get the call. Back up the middle, Seenstra can't come up with it. That'll be a base hit. First stolen base of the year. Bouncing ball to the third baseman. Rucker guns him out. So Dallas gives up a hit, but Stransom has done a tremendous job. And he hits a fly ball to right pretty well. That's carrying, and that ball is off the wall. Steenstra makes the turn, and he'll hold up at second with a double, a ringing double off the wall. You don't see many 6'5 shortstops in baseball, but this guy can cover a lot of ground defensively and at the plate. He had two doubles and a triple last weekend at Alabama. Continues his hot hitting in SEC play, getting a chance to get in the starting lineup and making absolute huge lineup. Just give me a chance. There's a bouncing ball up the middle. That'll get through. Steenstra makes the turn, and he'll score. And Tennessee takes a 1-0 lead. Spence continues to hit, and the Volunteers lead at 1-0. Great job by Liam Spence. Ball was not hit hard. Kind of in on his hands a little bit. Got just enough to put it up the middle. You see, carry on the shortstop was playing over towards the third base side. So there was. Rucker swings and misses. That ends the inning. But Tennessee takes the lead. There's no doubt. He's been very good. He's been able to spot the fastball, although that one's in the zone. And sails out of here. That's the deepest part of the ballpark. And Nathan Hickey got a whole bunch of that one. His seventh home run of the season, and that ties the game at one. Trying to get ahead with the fastball right there. Hickey, the two-hole hitter, takes him deep. Almost a dead center field. Just got over the wall. Watch the location of this pitch. Boom, ready to hit. Balls right down the middle, belt high. Hickey does not miss. Spot in the order most of the season. And is delivered. There's a blast to left field. That ball's going to sail way out of here. Back-to-back -back home runs. Curbing McMullen touches up Chad Dallas. And the Gators have taken the lead 2-1. to one. Well, second time through the order for Florida. And the two and three hole hitters have not missed. Tennessee, as a staff, has allowed the most home runs in the SEC. Florida has touched them for two right here in the fourth. That's six home. Breaking ball, strike three. So after giving up back-to-back -back home runs, Chad Dallas strikes out three and a third, allowed ten hits and nine runs. And can't make a play at first base. Would have been a tough one anyway. There's a base hit to right. Lipsius right on top of that pitch. And Tennessee has two hits in the inning and two runners on base. Fly ball. Right center fields carrying, still carrying, and dropped out there. Fabian can't come up with it. One run's going to score. Gilbert's in. Lipsius is in. And now Tennessee leads it 3-2. to two. That's the deepest part of the ballpark. And Fabian had a long run, got a glove on it, but couldn't bring it in. Ball was well struck. Ball was down and away, and Russell does a nice job not trying to pull it, going with the baseball. Fabian 
playing pretty shallow, even though Russell bats eight in the lineup. And he, he. That ball's bounced to the first baseman. Butler makes the play. Dallas has been doing that tonight. Cracked back up the middle and up by Ferguson. Carry on. Stroke that one right on the button up the middle. Bounce to third. Good strong throw, and that's the inning. That's another one in the gap. Fabian's not going to get there either. Off the wall. Rucker pulls into second base with a two out double. Straight's a pitcher. Base hit. Rucker makes the turn. And Tennessee leads it 4 to 2. This is just a classic Tennessee rally. You know, not much happens. You have a strikeout, you have a fly out to center field, then all of a sudden, boom. Rucker with a two strike opposite field double, and then Gilbert lines one right up the middle. Tennessee plates another run. He's pesky volunt. To second, Halter makes the play, but Tennessee gets some. Um, Two out magic here in the fifth inning. He gets on the mound and he turns into another person. And a strikeout. That's his tenth of the night. That's where we stand. It's 4-2. There's a blooper that's going to fall in. In front of Thompson. And Evan Russell has his second hit of the night. Stop. 2-2. Two -two. To the first baseman. Nice play by Butler. And he'll win the race to the bag. Lead things off in the seventh inning. Fly ball, right field, pretty well hit, and that ball is going to sail out of here. Judd Fabian, his 11th home run of the season, headed a long way to right center field, and the Gators have pulled back to within a run now. Third home run of the night, hit by Florida. Well, fortunately for Tennessee, they've all been solo home runs, but you could just see the power of Fabian. That's a little hanging breaking ball right there. He didn't get it low enough, didn't snap it off. That ball was towering over. Bouncing ball, Ferguson. That's a rare muff. Baseball, he makes the play. There's a base hit. So the Gators come out swinging here in the seventh inning. Butler stops at second. Try to strike guys out. This would be an opportunity to get get a punch. Out. And there's a base hit to left center field. Butler makes the turn. He's got good speed, and he'll score to tie the game. So one of the freshmen, one of the four in this lineup for the Gators, Colby Holter, comes up with a big run scoring single, and that ties the game at four. Well, that's an 0-2 pitch. But look at look where Steenstra is. He's breaking towards second base. He thinks it. I think he thinks it's going to be a pickoff. If he stays in his, his position, Bob, it's an easy 6-4-3 double tonight. That's off Dallas right to the second baseman for one and a double play. Dallas took that one right off his leg and it bounced to the second baseman, Ferguson, for the out. That's a base hit. Spence will make the turn, and he'll go into second with a leadoff double. The guy just keeps on hitting. This guy is an absolute player. McMullen fielded. He's a third baseman. And Look at that guy. Base hit for Ferguson. You can't do that any better. No, well, it, you got to let that ball roll. I mean, you're not going to throw him out. There's no reason to pick it up right there. That'll get the run in. Fabian makes the catch. Runner tags. Spence scores. Tennessee leads 5-4. Sacrifice fly for Rucker. Hard hit to the shortstop. Backhand. Strong throw. Good play. He's 0 for 3. Chops it to the third baseman. Rucker throws him out. Hundley puts him down one, two, three. 
That's hit well to left. To the wall. Gone. Evan Russell. A three hit night. His third RBI. And Tennessee gets a big insurance run. I don't know what this guy's been eating for the last couple of weeks, but I would not change my diet. He is putting on an impressive power show. Not a big body guy. But man. He got that bat head out, didn't he? He got the bat head out. That wind helped. I'm not taking anything away from Epsley. But still. A home run's a home run, and that's a huge insurance run for Tennessee. Big difference going into the ninth inning. Stadium tonight. There's a rip to right, and Tennessee wins. A line drive to right field. Sean Hundley comes in and does what he always does. He retires all six to face him. He picks up his fourth save of the year. He saves it for Chad Dallas. And Tennessee takes game one of this big three-game weekend series.